Well, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think about some platform that I have. I'm an individual. Uh, I live in this country. I have a right to say and think what I want. It's got nothing to do with, you know, my position. If it helps somebody else think one way or the other about something, great. But the discussion has to take place. Uh, you know, it's, it's <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, race is the elephant in the room, and we, and we all understand that. But uh, unless it is talked about constantly, it's not going to get better. People get bored. Oh, is it that again? They pull in a race card again. Why do we have to talk about that? Well, because it, it's uncomfortable. And there has to be an uncomfortable element in the discourse for anything to change. You know, whether it's the LGBT movement or, you know, uh, women's suffrage, uh, race, it doesn't matter. Uh, people have to be made to feel uncomfortable, and especially white people, because we're comfortable. We still have no clue of what being born white means. And if, if you read some of the, you know, uh, recent literature, you'll realize it really is no such thing as whiteness. Uh, but we kind of made it up. Uh, that's not uh, my original thought, but it's true, and <laughs> it, 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 it's hard to sit down and, and decide that, yes, it, it's like you're at the 50-meter you know, mark in a 100-meter dash, uh, and you got that kind of a lead. Yes, because you were born white, you have advantages that are systemically, uh, culturally, psychologically there, and they've been built up and cemented for hundreds of years but many people can't look at it it's it's too difficult uh, it, it can't be something that is on their plate on a daily basis uh, people want to hold their position people want the status quo people don't want to give that up and until it's given up it's not going to be fixed